In this mini tutorial we're going to think about how acids and bases work as conjugate acid base pairs. So we see in chapter 17 how acids are hydrogen ion donors and bases are hydrogen ion acceptors. So for example if we just take a general acid written in a form HA that can then give up a hydrogen ion to form a minus, and there's the hydrogen ion that's donated. And we can think about a, con, um, a general base as B. And a general base can accept a hydrogen ion like that. And if we put these two uh, reactions together, we then end up with a, a general acid base reaction. So we have the acid and the base going to the other species like this. So what we see here is the acid giving up a hydrogen which then transfers to the base during the course of the reaction. So we can see here how an acid and base have to act together. It has to be an acid to donate hydrogen ion, but also a base in solution to accept the hydrogen ion that's been donated by the acid. But notice that you write this as an equilibrium reaction. So what happens if we were to consider the reverse, reverse reactions? So if we work, work backwards, we would have A- minus in this case, picking up a hydrogen ion. to form our original acid and BH plus giving up a hydrogen ion like so. So in this case we're actually seeing A minus acting as a base. It's accepting a hydrogen ion as we move from left to right to become HA. BH plus is acting as an acid, so that's giving up a hydrogen ion as we move across from left to right, as you can see here. So if we annotate the uh, different components of the reaction, we're saying that this HA is acting as an acid in the left to right direction, and we have the base here. On the other side of the equation, when we run the reaction in reverse, we see A- minus acting as a base, and BH plus acting as an acid. So we actually end up with two pairs, HA and A- minus as one pair, and B and BH plus as the other pair. And these are the um, two acid base conjugate pairs. So we have HA and A minus as one conjugate acid base pair, just there. And then B and BH plus forming another conjugate acid base pair, like so. And there are always two conjugate acid base pairs per acid base reaction. So we say HA is the acid and A- minus is its conjugate base and B is the base and BH plus is its conjugate acid. But if we think about an actual reaction now, let me just change the colour of my pen, here we go. So let's consider what happens when hydrogen chloride reacts with water in solution. So there's the hydrogen chloride and water reacting to give hydronium ion H3O plus plus a chloride ion Cl minus. So in this case, if we're moving from left to right, we see hydrogen chloride acting as an acid, so it becomes Cl minus. 
H2O water is acting as a base. It's accepting the hydrogen ion from hydrogen chloride to become the hydronium ion H3O+. Plus. So we have an acid there and a base here. If you were to run the reaction in reverse, consider the reverse reaction, the back reaction, we would have the hydronium ion becoming H2O. So that's giving up a hydrogen ion. So in that case, this is the acid. And running in reverse, the chloride ion is becoming hydrogen chloride. So that's accepting a hydrogen ion. So that is acting as a base. So if we look here we can see that we have hydrogen chloride and the chloride ion acting as one conjugate acid base pair. And we have water and the hydronium ion acting as our second conjugate acid base pair.